Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Cave in Western Armenia, natural temperature which doesn't change. When will the Turkish embassy open in Yerevan? Hungary bears as a threat to passengers in Van, Western Armenia, a group of states to form a regional alliance against Turkey. USA referring to Turkey's proposal about S-400s. Two new books in Polish, dedicated to the genocide against Armenians. Rand Matevosyan, 86. Interview with the director of Buragan Observatory, Arek Mikhailian. The 500-years-old cave called Yeni Han in the city of Aintab in western Armenia, which serves as a cafe, attracts attention with its stable temperature. There is a calm atmosphere in the cave cafe due to the epidemic, while people used to visit it very often. The cave cafe is waiting for its visitors after the end of the epidemic. The manager of the cafe knows that the temperature of the cafe doesn't change at all in summer and winter, and that's. This cave was used as a quarry in the 1500s. There are 12 pillars and wells. Even though it is 45 degrees, the cave only stays at 15 degrees as it maintains its natural temperature. Currently, our visitors come and walk around the cave because of the epidemic. As for Ankara, Yerevan is changing the language of the conversation, urging to move from words to acts. Although the appearance of the Turkish embassy in Armenia may be accompanied by violence and mass manifestations of public complaint in the current situation, Armenian-Turkish reconciliation is not an internal political issue of the two neighboring countries. This is a part of a new Caucasian game that is just beginning. Answering the questions of deputies, Armenian Foreign Minister Ara Ayvazyan said that Yerevan expects the Turkish border to be opened. According to him, the closure of the borders with Turkey was based on the status quo in Karbakh, which has now changed. Turkey has no other reason to keep the borders with Armenia closed, in some way Ayvazyan is right. The status quo in Artsakh has changed abruptly after the signing of the trilateral peace agreement between Russia, Azerbaijan and Armenia to end the Karbakh war. The clauses of the agreement, which plan to unblock all communication corridors, including between Azerbaijan and Nakhijevan, through the territory of Armenia, and the process of normalization of relations with Turkey. But there are also important nuances. The full article is available on our website. Many animals have difficulties finding food because of the cold in many parts of western Armenia. In recent days, predators have become more common. Yesterday, the mother bear and her cubs, not being able to find food, went down the road where the cars are going in children western Armenia. A passerby recorded it on a cell phone camera. The bears quickly moved away, noticing the camera, making the image shorter. Officials and foreign ministers of a number of countries of Persian Gulf met in Athens yesterday. As reported by Arman Press, the Associated Press reports, representatives of Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates met with the foreign ministers of Greece, Cyprus and Egypt, who are already supporting regional contact. The French foreign minister Jean-Yves Le Drain joined them with a video call. The participating countries support Greece in its dispute with Turkey over the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Greek Prime Minister Kuriakos Mitsotakis said that the seven participating countries are planning to hold regular contacts and meetings. U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price commented on Turkish Defense Minister Hulusi Akar's statement, according to which official Ankara may offer Washington to use the Kreta model in the S-400 air defense systems acquired from Russia. A few days ago, Akar mentioned that they would offer to use the Kreta model, referring that NATO member Greece has Russian S-300 systems but uses them only during military exercises. In this case, Turkey may not include in the permanent combat duty and will partially use the S-400 air defense systems purchased from Russia. The American official stated that their position on the S-400 has not changed and they still consider the deal unacceptable. A book entitled Exterminating Armenians, A History of the Genocide was published by Marek Terevias Publishing in the second half of 2020 in Bosnian, Poland. The publication of the book got financial support from the Polish Ministry of Culture and National Heritage from the Foundation for the Promotion of Culture. This Polish book is the translation of The Truth Les Armenians, Historia d'un Genocide in French, copyrighted by French-Armenian Mikhail Nashanyan, published in 2015. And in December 2020, the University of Slots, Katowice, Poland, published a book of a researcher at the University, Heral Marakyan, entitled The Armenian-Turkish Conflict of 1915, According to the French and Russian Media of the 21st Century, Selected Issues. This consists of five main chapters. The main subject of this monograph is the scientific way of presenting the Armenian-Turkish relations discourse of the 21st century media, based on the online editions of French and Russian mass media. 
Grant Matevosian was born on February 12, 1945 in the village of Ahnizor, Tumania region. He studied in the village school, then continued his education at the Kirovagan Pedagogical Institute. He studied at the Faculty of History and Linguistics of the Yerevan Pedagogical Institute from 1958 to 1962. In parallel with his studies, he worked as a proofreader in Soviet literature magazine and literary newspaper. He took high screen writing courses in Moscow from 1965 to 1967. He entered literature in 1961 with the hint Ahnizor, which received a wide response. Matevosian's whole work is about the village and the villager. His heroes are the people who do not leave their world, their village, suffer all their lives because they think that the first duty of a person is to work and improve the world. He became a member of the USSR Writers' Union in 1964. He was the president of the Writers' Union of Armenia from 1996 to 2000. A number of films and performances were made based on his novels. Matevosian was recognized not only in Armenia, but also in the former Soviet Union, receiving one of the highest Soviet literary awards, the State Prize. His works have been translated and published in Russian, English, French, German, Lithuanian, Moldovan, Estonian, Georgian, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, Ukrainian, Czech, Hungarian, Norwegian, Bulgarian, and other languages. He died on December 19, 2002 in Yerevan. He is buried in the Komitas Pantheon. Arek Mikhailian, the director of the Buragan Observatory and Regional Astronomical Center, presented the general scientific situation in Armenia on Western Armenia TV. He referred to traditional scientific directions, noting that new ones appear on the basis of traditional ones. He spoke about the connection between the economy and science, the mission of the state in the post-war period, in getting the economy out of a difficult situation in Central. Now we present you Bahjur Kuga by Nubar Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.